Welcome everyone. In the part three earlier, I have covered quite a bit of stuff like you know four learning outcomes about X unit and mocking framework and best practice in naming convention and debug debugging a unit test. So now I have decided to break it into small chunks, bite-sized chunk for easily digestibility by my, my viewers, my uh, respected viewers and uh, subscriber to my channel. So in this part, I will be covering only uh, this part, which is the that was the first learning outcome that was to understand the sample project unit tests on home controller, get and post action methods. So please subscribe to my channel and put your valuable comments, feedbacks and likes and share with your friends. And don't forget to press the bell notification icon. Now let's get back to the Visual Studio. Here in this home controller which derives from the controller base class we will be studying this index action method which returns a task of i action result type. So as you can see that it is declaring a session list which is a async list and it is calling the select method to actually select a particular session from the storm session view model with id. Okay and it is returning a view with passing the model. Now here you can see that the storm session view model was created in the view model folder. Okay, And it carries just a few public properties with id name and date created and id account number of ideas. And we have seen that in the second lecture I think when we cloned the project and installed it on our Visual Studio and ran it. Okay. And here it expects dependency injection to provide an instance of, as I said, I brainstorm repository, I brainstorm session repository class or interface rather. Now let's go dive straight to the testing control sample dot test and we'll be requiring this home controller dot test dot CS file. Okay. So let me put it in a horizontal new vertical document group so that we can see it side by side. Okay, so public class home controller test. Now this fact attribute, this is a part of the X unit testing framework. So we have got several testing framework that Microsoft has used X unit testing framework, which you can have a look uh, in, a, you know, X unit framework uh, website. So in this uh, uh, home controller test project, which I have now um, made as a startup project for some reason that I'll be embarking upon soon. So you can see this fact is the test attribute for the method. Okay. Now we see here that the home controller is being tested with the mocked, you know, this mock class, mocked I brainstorm session repository service using a mock object framework. Now such as MOQ, this is using mock. Okay. Now a mocked object is a fabricated object with a predetermined set of property and method behaviors used for testing. And a mock object allows us to copy or clone the behavior of a class and interface. This is used when inter interacting with test cases. Now with the use of mocks, we can set up the object, including setting parameters like, you know, setting, uh, we are setting the uh, um, test, okay, test method mock repo dot setup and what is mock repo, new mock and we are uh, supplying the I brainstorm session repository interface. So arrange, act and assert. So if you have got any familiarity with unit test, arrange is the way to arrange the various fields and variables and act is where you're calling a method like await on controller.index and then assert is the last stage where you're actually testing the unit testing the method with some criteria like assert dot equal to this is the actual and this is the uh, this is the expected and this is the actual behavior okay now with the use of mocks, we can set up the objects, including setting parameters, as I was telling, and return values on the function calls. Also, we can verify 
that the methods we set up are being called during execution of the test cases. Now, now lastly, we'll see that there are two tests for the post method which I have mentioned earlier in this lecture, you know, this post action method has, is, it could be distributed, it could be divided sub, into two parts when the model state is invalid or model state dot is valid is false and the next case when it is true. So when it is false, if the model state is invalid, it is, it is false, it is invalid, then what happens? then you are still arranging the mock repo with uh, i brainstorm session repository interface and you are pretty much similarly uh, arranging it as you have arranged it for the this part for the index get verb part but here you are calling the add model error method on the model state and you are passing the session name and the um, required these two strings okay and you are returning a bad request dot value means you are returning a 400 error okay or 400 bad request as a response however when the model is valid what happens with the model state is valid so when the model state is valid you still have uh, this arrange act and assert blocks which are the foundation blocks of a unit test and what you are doing is you are adding asynchronously a brainstorm session okay you are add, adding a brainstorm session and finally you are redirecting you are calling the redirect to action and you are uh, redirecting it to the correct method that is the index method now one thing to be reminded of here is that the test doesn't attempt to pass in an invalid invalid model. So passing an invalid model isn't a valid approach since model binding isn't running. Now mock calls that aren't called are normally ignored. Okay, but calling verifiable at the end with this mock repo dot verify code at the end of this setup it allows mock validation in the test. This is performed with the called to this uh, verify method which failed the test if the expected method wasn't called. Now that's pretty much the end of this uh, tutorial. So in this tutorial we have seen what is a mock object, how to, unit, uh, how to use the X unit test framework and we learned all this as a part of our understanding the sample project unit test on home controller get and post action methods. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and share your, with your friends and click the bell notification icon for getting all the updates that I publish. Okay. Thank you.